Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, 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 mm -mm -mm. Uh, I do want to let you know that I'm grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to check in this video. But today's uh, vibe is going to be a little bit more somber. What is truly going on in France right now. I mean, being a Muslim in France right now just seems really, really difficult. This reminds me of a narration of the Messenger of Salaam that there'll come a time that holding on to your religion will be as if you're holding on to hot coal. So you, you know what's going on in France right now. I, I don't think it's a surprise, but I feel like I haven't talked about it enough or at all. And ten, today, not tonight, t today right now is the time to make sure that that does uh, happen. So let's break down based off of the events that's taken place. In 2015, uh, Charlie Hebdo uh, created this cartoon or character of uh, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he, he displayed this cartoon of him and uh, you know what happened from that point on. Okay, now first and foremost, we need to understand that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his lifetime, in his lifetime was mocked. In the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's lifetime, he was attacked. In the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's lifetime, he was threatened. All that stuff. Believe me, a cartoon is now worse than what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually had to go through. Let's just keep that in our minds, okay? Don't be a jahil. Don't be stupid over here. Don't be someone who's so emotional that all you do is react and you don't respond. And you can check out this video over here where I talk about responding versus reacting. Okay. Now, the problem with a lot of Muslims is that we immediately want to react to the problem. Something, who, who said that? Huh, 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 huh. Relax. You're not a three-year-old, bro, that you don't get something that you want and you throw a temp uh, temper tantrum. Yes, it's important for people to understand that there's limits, there's boundaries that you cannot cross. In the name of freedom of speech, I can't just come and call your mom a hoe. But SQ is freedom of speech, is it? Or is that sort of ant antagonizing something, you know, or enticing someone to actually do something violent against me? If I'll give you a true example. Last night I went to go play basketball. You know me, I was cooking them. Bismillah Booker all day. Right? I'm cooking them and I'm asking for the ball. And one of my things, I'm just, ah, ah. And then one of the dudes said, Your dog is calling you. Called me a dog, right? I had to pause the game right there and say, Yo, games aside right now, I'm a grown man. Don't talk to me that way. You understand? But it's freedom of speech, SQ. It's, why not? He just called, he didn't, it's just a dog, SQ. Why? Because a dog has certain qualities and characteristics. Calling someone a pig is never a nice thing. Calling someone a dog is never a nice thing. You know what I mean? There's certain animals, there's certain things that you don't call to a person because you know they have derogatory context to them. Okay? Stay with me for a second. Okay. Now you might be like, what's the problem? Oh, so? Freedom of speech. I could draw someone's mom. If all of a sudden, like, you know, people, I'm a middle school teacher, and, you know, as they get older, they get a little more nastier. Okay. I remember even in my time, and even now, obviously, when someone wants to make fun of someone, the one of the lowest blows someone could say is about your mom. Maybe tell your mom a joke or say something sexual about your mom. I think even in the Yemeni culture, if someone asks for your mom's name, I think first name or something like that, they would get upset. Correct me if I'm wrong and tell me in the comment section below if that's true or not. Okay. So what happens is that, you know, to insult someone, they'll tell your mom a joke. Or they'll do some sexual thing with your mom. They'll say, draw a character and say, oh, this is such and such person's mom. And then they'll draw a male genitalia pointing in their direction. Or put a male genitalia drawn towards direction of their parent or something that they love. Or even towards them, right? As a sense of derogatory context. Now, let's be serious over here and let's be clear. The cartoon characters that they're drawing the messenger sauce in, in that direction, one, first and foremost, is an extremely derogatory way. It's, a, it's, it's in a way that they're making fun of the messenger sauce. It's not like they're drawing him in a positive light. You know what I mean? One, you're not supposed to draw him at all because that's our beliefs. That's our values. There's certain sellout Muslims out there who feel like, oh, it's okay. You can draw the messenger sauce because you're a sellout. And, you know, I understand sellouts do sell out things. So do you. Okay? Muslims, could, we find, could care less about cursing or people drawing the Prophet Muhammad or anything. I mean, they're in America, they're living their lives. You're not even drawing him in a positive manner. We don't draw him at all, but you're not even drawing him in a positive manner. So now you expect people not to get upset when you are defacing someone that we love more than our own selves and our own family members. Like, I love the Messenger awesome as much as you would, more than my own mom, more than my own child. I love my kids but not more than the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam i love my messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than i love my children i love him more than i love myself and my daughter's like 3 one of them is four, right? I love the messenger salsam more than I love them. That says a lot. We love our messenger salsam. So when you're doing that, you're actually messing with us. Okay, now, 
Let's fast forward for a second. Samuel Patty, a teacher, a school teacher. Let's first talk about the, the school setting for the French. Man, may Allah bless you guys. Honestly, if you're in France right now, may Allah bless you. You might want to migrate a little bit. Hijra from France might be a good idea just because they're just jerks over there. I thought French were all like, you know, drinking wine and stuff, you know, painting pictures and have those weird mustaches and wear those little beret hats. Eiffel Tower and the, the city of love. What love is over there? There's no love over there. It's just uh, straight up hate. You know what I mean? Okay, Samuel Patty, a teacher, shows his class cartoons of the Messenger Sassanum in this drawn way, in a derogatory way. Why? Because the anniversary of the Charlie Hebdo thing is coming out. How stupid are you? How stupid are you? That's like going to Germany and someone talking about swastikas and bringing back Hitler and talking about all his stuff and maybe coming up and dressed up as Hitler to show people the immersion. I want you to immersify yourself inside the curriculum. Let me dress up as Hitler or an SSR, a Gustavo or some type of Nazi agent. No, you're like, yo, bro, don't do that, bro. Like, there's, no, bro, chill, chill with that. In schools today in France, if you are at a younger age, you're not even allowed to wear the hijab at all. At all. It's after you go to college you're allowed to wear that. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, okay? The niqab is fully banned. Wow. And this is the same one. And I quote, I'm reading you a quote that the decap and by the way, like this is this is a real this is a real quote, right? I, I kept my phone on me, you know? You know, I, I kept it over here because you're like, yo, ask you, you making up stuff? No. Okay. So after Samuel Patty showed that cartoon character, which was dumb. Some extremists came through and chopped his head off. Islamically, that's mutilation. That's not even the right thing to do. Never, 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 ever. You can't even do something like such a thing, right? Only some Satanist, disgusting human being would do such a thing. Not a Muslim, right? Some monafic posing as Muslims for sure, right? But a real Muslim would never do such a thing. I can understand. If you want to get upset, get upset, right? Get upset in a civil manner. Get upset in a way that, you know, you check the person. Yesterday we were playing basketball. I got upset at the person. I checked him then and there. I paused the game. I'm like, yo, what's good? You got something to say? Say it right now, right? You check them then and there, but you don't let that fester. All that beheading stuff, that's not from Islam. That's from some monafics posing as Muslims to give us a bad name, okay? They said after that took place, right? And, and may Allah bless their family of and get them patience for Samuel Patty. Honestly, honestly, like that's not nice to find out that your family member was beheaded. Come on now. That's stupid. Okay. These murderers want to decapitate democracy itself. Well, that's interesting because France was, you know, claiming to have democracy, yet you're not okay with your own people choosing what religion that they can follow and how can they, you know, uphold their own religious values. So it's interesting that there's a huge double standard taking place over here, yet the majority of the people won't say nothing about it, right? You, you know, you know, you have all these celebrities and all that sort of stuff, but nobody wants to talk about these sort of things because it uh, brings bad pre press or publicity to the, to the country. I need to go to France to do some social experiments over there. I think that'd be pretty, pretty dope. Uh, tell me in the comment section below, what do you guys think about that idea? Okay, I digress. Mans is decapitated. That's wrong. Shouldn't be happening in the first place. And you know what the worst part about the decapitation is? That you made him, you as in the people who are these extremists. And by the way, you know, they are actual Muslim extremists out there. I was on a podcast with one of them. No names are going to be mentioned for them, but they should be on a watch list. They should be on a watch list. Okay. Um, this person's decapitated. That led to a hate crime happening against Muslims. Okay. Two women are then stabbed. Two innocent women are stabbed. The people, the Europeans, the white people who actually stabbed this person said some racial slurs to them. The French police still thinks that it's not Islamophobic at all. They're still investigating. I don't know how. They stabbed them. Alhamdulillah, they all survived. And they went on about their business. These hate crimes continue to happen. These Islamophobic things continue to happen. And we see it all, all of a sudden. But one thing that we got to remember that we can't leave our faith in the process. That doesn't mean that we stop growing our beards. We stop wearing the hijab. Because if we do that, they win. That's what they want. They want us to leave the countries. They want us. They want us to make hijrah. Go back to your own Muslim lands. Why? This is, how is this not our land? Oh, no, no, SQ. The Muslims aren't supposed to live. Muslims are only allowed to live in Muslim lands. Let me ask you a question. How did any Muslim land become a Muslim land? Oh, Muslims had to go there and, uh, you know, explain Islam to them so they could accept Islam and it became a Muslim land. 
Duh. How did any land become a Muslim land? Every land in the East was not a Muslim land. If this is how we thought, then Islam would never have left Mecca and Medina. That's where Islam would never have spread. Because we would have like, oh, no, 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 no. Muslims could only be in Muslim lands. The plot, the thing is that people want us to kick us out. And there's some Muslims out there who should be on watch list who suggest that we should be getting kicked out of these countries and go back and make hijra to our own lands. Any land that's a Muslim land right now, any land that's a Muslim land right now wasn't always a Muslim land. Someone had to come over there and give dawah, and that's our job. That's our responsibility. So, to a message to the to the Muslims in in France right now. I know originally I'm saying you need me to make hijra out of there, and I don't mean hijra back to a Muslim country. I mean hijra to maybe a neighboring play, land that's more safe for you. The same with the Messenger Sallallahu told the Muslims of that time to go to Abyssinia, right? Because he knew it wasn't a Muslim land, but he knew that the ruler is just. Okay, that, that's the type of hijra I'm trying try to talk about. But if you want to stick it out there, give da'wah to the people, more power to you. Your brother is with you. I think I need to come to France and do some Quran social experiments, some iPad experiments over there and debunk the entire situation and uh, try to spread the da'wah over there. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. But that, that was literally, you know, the video was about, guys. It's really heartbreaking to see such a thing happening. Uh, but the reality is that someone needs to talk about this. I'm sure other people are, but I haven't really weighed in on the process. And, of course, the media is talking more about the decapitation, which is a far more serious crime, obviously, than the stabbing, even though they both are bad in their own respect. But they're not really talking about the women who were stabbed. So it's our responsibility to spread the news to the people People and bring it to the masses these news agencies and companies are privately owned that means the the news that you see has been manipulated by the owners the owners want a specific agenda and message hence that's the only agenda and message that you and I will be receiving so it's our responsibility and important to us to make sure that we are doing our own research and we are posting about such things uh, that are happening there, but also post about the successes that Muslims are have, having and uh, support those who are actually trying their best to make sure that Muslims and Islam is successful I hope you guys uh, benefited from this video and appreciate it as well. I appreciate you guys watching and listening to this as well. Uh, check out some of my other content over here as well. And um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Tomorrow I'm going to be dropping my uh, talk because I'm giving a talk at the masjid today. So I'm going to just drop that video tomorrow, inshallah. Uh, but until next time, I'm out.